What is going on guys, it's Goofy here, here coming at you with another Arc Valgara video and I know, I know that these tutorial videos probably aren't needed anymore because the map has been out for close to two months now, somewhere around there, but I figured I might as well just keep doing them because I know some people haven't seen any good videos on some of the stuff that I'm going to show you in the near future. But today's video is all about polymer and more specifically how to get thousands of polymer super fast and easy on Valgaro. Now it's definitely a little more difficult because you have to, the, I'm going to show you throughout the entire video every single poly option, but the main source which is down in the purple zone of the aberration area on Valgaro is a little tougher to get to, but it's definitely worth the risk if you're really running short on poly. But before we get into it, please be sure to subscribe. If you are new to the channel, I would like to hit 500 subscribers pretty soon. So if you want to subscribe, just subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed. And comment what you guys want to see next, whether it be more Valgara or like more MTS or whatever. But okay, so let's get into this. So the the poly is in Valgaro is mainly in different areas of the map. But in the aberration purple area, right where I'm at with the purple crystals and stuff, you have these white flowers. Now, these white flowers are poly plants, okay? So, I want to level 34 fairy, so this isn't very good. But if you come down here and you just tickle a little bit, there's 10 poly. And you keep tickling, and there's, what, there's already 53 poly, and this is a terrible fairy. And just so just imagine you have a good fairy with good harvesting and there you go you're just getting mad poly okay and it's much better than farming penguins or anything else you just run through you farm your poly plants and you keep going so honestly guys i know this isn't like a super in-depth tutorial on how to find the poly and stuff but look there's 265 poly and it took i'm on a 1x this is pure vanilla right now and this took me what like five seconds to get almost 300 poly and there's more white plants all over the thing and you can get red drops while you're at it too so that's kind of where you get the 1000 poly super fast now obviously i only got almost 300 but you can imagine with a good theory with good harvesting you can get close to a thousand just in that little trip right there and then just imagine all the other white plants like there's some right here and there's tons all over the bottom of the purple zone but now that i've showed you the main source i'm going to go and show you the other sources of poly all throughout Valgaro. Alright, so the next option for poly on Valgaro is the dolphins that spawn on the beaches along the river or the center of um, the like the ocean almost, kind of a Valgaro, which is the center of the, the map. But these dolphins spawn on the beach and they give a small amounts of poly, but it's definitely something that you can just get early game that could help you just make whatever you need, like something small that just needs a little bit of poly but not much. You can just farm these dolphins, plus they give spoiled meat as well. But you just yep, you hit them up, and I'm, I'm just going to farm this whole thing. It gives tons of spoiled meat, and it'll give a decent amount of poly, enough for your early game things. So one dolphin, 51 spoiled meat, and 17 poly, and 11 hide. So they're definitely not something for endgame Valgaro to be using for poly, but something in the beginning of Valgaro, just when you're first starting off for just a tiny bit of poly, the dolphins will be excellent. Plus they can help you get to your, narco bear, your narcotic rush a little faster, because you can get the spoiled meat as well. But on to the next source of poly. All right, and of course, the next source of poly on Valgaro is the penguins. Now, penguins aren't specific to Valgaro at all, but they're definitely a good source of poly on many different maps on Arc. But there's a big penguin spot around 19.3, 89.8 in this little snow lake area. But there's tons of penguins, as you can see. They give good poly. There's penguins over there on the icebergs and everything. But yeah, you guys have seen penguins probably before if you played any other map on Arc. But you, you kill it. You club it, you get your poly. It's not a ton of poly. It's not like the poly plants down in the aberration area that give almost a thousand and five seconds, but it's definitely a good source of poly if you use a moss chops and whatnot. It's just a good source of poly if this is your only option and you can't get down to the aberration area. But penguins aren't anything new, so I'm not going to go super in depth with this, but on to the next source of poly in Valgaro. Alright, so the last source of poly that I'm going to be going over in this video, I know there's probably a few other sources of poly, but I'm not really going to go in depth of them, but the last source of poly that I have is the mantis that are located in the wyvern scar, and I'll give you the chords for that, it's um, 7.8, 76.5, but it's in the wyvern scar where all the wyverns spawn, but as you can see there's just a ton of 
Mantis. Okay, it's not gonna let me fly. Alright, but they're killing themselves right now for whatever reason. No. No. Any more? Well, there was a ton, but they all killed themselves, so that's awkward. But yeah, there's a ton of mantis all over. We'll just harvest them, and as you can see, they don't give much or po organic poly polymer, but they give a bit. I mean, it gave six there, but there's definitely other options. You can farm it with a moss chops and get a lot more poly if that's leveled properly with the proper harvesting levels. But guys, that's all I got for this video. I know it's probably a little shorter than the mon most of my other videos, but it's definitely a good video if you are struggling with Holly on Valgaro because there's a the bunch of different options. And you can also kill crabs in the aberration area for Polly as well. But other than that, guys, um, I'm going to end the video there. If you guys did enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like. Comment what you guys want to see next in the description down below. And if you guys benefited from this video at all, just tell me down below. It makes me feel better. It makes me more motivated to um, make more content like this. But... Other than that, guys, be sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.